Hey ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Cryer here and welcome to Friday Night Diablo. Now I have to apologize right off the bat that there was not a Friday Night Diablo video last week. Unfortunately, work's been a little crazy as of late and I've had to like chill on the streaming, a little bit of the video making. I've still been trying to put out two to three, sometimes four videos a week, and I will continue to do so. I will be streaming later tonight when this video goes up, but for the most part, my streaming has chilled out because I'm only getting like an hour to an hour and a half every night to play Diablo, that type of thing. And the other times I'm using for videos and stuff like that. Plus I'm working on my level with the cause thing and trying to get that all together so that other streamers involved have all the information they need. But thanks for joining me for this Friday Night Diablo. And what I want to talk about tonight is challenge rifts and what I think they mean to the future of Diablo 3. I'm definitely liking challenge rifts. I've done a few challenge rifts. I haven't really dove into much of the Necromancer as of yet because I haven't had the time. But hopefully at some point this weekend I will definitely be doing that. Maybe tonight on the stream. Who knows? Probably towards the end of the stream I will play some Necromancer. That's for sure actually. But... I haven't been able to play a lot, but challenge rifts, I've done this week's challenge rift a couple of times, and I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a very, very cool idea. Now, for those of you who don't know what challenge rifts are, they are randomly chosen from the community, a greater rift run. You pretty much get the same exact rift layout, the same gear, the same build, everything is exactly the same as the original runner. So you don't have to worry about Paragon, and this is my favorite thing because you don't have to worry about botting and stuff like that with the regular leaderboards. That's one of my greatest joys about Challenge Rifts is it's pure in the fact that it comes down to skill. So the better players are going to have the better times, that type of thing. Or the people with better memory are going to have the better times. But overall, I definitely dig it. Plus, you get the chance at, you know, claiming a bounty package. It's pretty much the equivalent of a T7 bounty run. All for like five, six minutes worth of work. That's pretty cool. The only drawback is you can only do one of these per week and it's only one class one it's one run but you can work on your time but you can only get one bounty cash out of it which kind of sucks maybe they should do a daily type of quest thing for it that'd be cool think about that daily quests in diablo 3 with you know challenge rifts involved but I think that this really opens up the doors to more stuff, more content similar to Challenge Rift, something to offset the whole Paragon race that has become the leaderboards. And I definitely like pushing the leaderboards, I do, even though I, I'm not able to get 2,000 Paragon in a season. It's never going to happen. It's probably never going to happen unless this becomes my full-time job. Guys, Patreon link in the description below. But unless this becomes my full-time job, I will probably never reach 14 or 1,500 in a season because I have a job that consumes a lot of time. Plus, I have my family, my wife, my house to take care of, that type of stuff. So it's really tough for me to do the whole Paragon race. Now, I do push the leaderboards, and usually I can break into the top 300, top 100 occasionally by the end of a season, and that's pretty cool. But I usually end up doing it with 1,100 or less Paragon. So, the leaderboards to me, it's a Paragon race, and Challenge Rifts definitely open up new opportunities, new avenues for gameplay for people who like being competitive but don't have the time that it takes in order to push that number one spot on the leaderboards or, you know, get that top 10 spot and that type of thing. Or they just don't have that kind of time. Challenge rifts are in and out. You can do it. You can practice it. You can run it. You can try to beat the best time that you had. You can try to beat your clan mates, that type of thing. And that's pretty cool about the challenge rifts. And I think in the future, if they were able to add more to it, like daily quests or, you know, more than one per week, 
where it's one for every class, that would be pretty cool. I think I would really get some enjoyment out of that because then weekly you would be playing every single class at least once or twice a week just to get the bounty caches, practice it, you get to test new builds. Some are viable, some won't be viable, that type of thing, but it would be overall a pretty cool thing if they could start implementing more and more based off of that. And I think Challenge Rifts definitely opens the door to new content, just like the Necromancer does. And like I said, I haven't played the Necromancer at all pretty much other than this Challenge Rift. And it's been pretty cool because by the third or fourth Challenge Rift, I figured out what I was doing roughly. And that was pretty cool. So you can pick all different classes. That's why I think if you had more than one class every week, you know, one challenge rift for every class. That would be awesome. Because then you could get a glimpse into how each class plays or how each build would play. And that would give you more opportunities for more bounties, which would offset the Paragon too when it comes to the normal leaderboards. You know, gear can offset the Paragon to a point. Once you get up, over 1500 paragon your gear isn't gonna offset that because those people also have the best gear but i truly think that challenge rifts open a door that could definitely fill this game with even more awesomeness guys maybe i'm just the eternal optimist when it comes to diablo 3 but i think the necromancer dlc and challenge rifts and stuff like that are definitely moving in the right direction for this game. Hopefully it's not too little too late for some people because I know that this game hasn't been what everybody wanted, but I still find it fun. I find GR pushing fun. I find challenge rifts fun so far because it was pretty cool. Oh, maybe I can beat my time, that type of thing. So, overall, I think it's going to be a good thing. And there will be more Necromancer stuff coming from my channel now that I have the beta. So, expect more of that. I'll be doing some testing, that type of stuff, on the PTR. Tonight on my stream, I'm probably going to be trying to level up my, uh, my Season 10 guy. And then probably doing a little bit of Necromancer at the end. So, if you want, stop on by the stream later. That would be pretty cool. Thank you very much for all your support, that type of thing. Guys, if you like this video and you want to see more of these, I do try to put them up every single Friday night for sure. And then a couple others during the week. I try to put up three to four videos a week every single week. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments what you think of this video and what you want to see on next Friday night's video. Guys, thank you so very much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great night and peace.